Hello everyone and welcome to the Git and GitHub Overview Lecture. So in this lecture we'll just get a quick overview on Git and GitHub in general. So what is Git, G-I-T? Git is a free and open source distributed version control system and it can handle everything from just a small project to a really large one pretty well. So you can go ahead and go to git-scm.com to learn more about Git and you can try it in your browser for free by clicking this try git link on the git page here and it'll take you to this link at try.github.io and it'll teach you git pretty quickly in your browser so it's actually a really useful tool so what kind of companies are using git this version control system pretty much all major companies such as google facebook microsoft twitter linkedin etc there's a whole list of companies many many companies use git and you might be wondering what's the difference between Git and GitHub. So GitHub is a web page where you can publish your Git repositories and collaborate with other people. So as I mentioned before, Git's a version control system. So it basically has a series of snapshot, snapshots of your code, which are known as commits. And as you see the path of the, snapshot, uh, the snapshots, you can check what order they're created in. So can you use Git without GitHub is another question people ask. And yes, so Git runs locally if you don't use GitHub. Um, an alternative to GitHub might be using Git with your files and then hosting them on Dropbox. But GitHub is the de facto and most popular streamlined service that's designed especially for Git. So I encourage you to make your own GitHub account and check it out. I have my own GitHub account and that's where I commit the repositories for the notebooks and that's how you're able to view them because I'm pushing them to GitHub. If you're interested in working how GitHub works, you can go to guides.github.com slash activities slash hello world. Again, this link is in the lecture text. And you can check out their hello world document. It's all in browser. So again, you don't need to download anything. You can just check it out all there. And then another great website for learning Git in general, just G-I-T Git, is gitimmersion.com. And it works for both Mac and Windows. Okay. So that's just a brief overview on Git and version control in general, the links and resources you need to learn more about them. Don't worry if you don't want to check that out right now. Later on in the lecture, we'll touch again on this topic when we talk about modules and importing and creating your own libraries. All right, that's it for this lecture. Up next, we'll finally get started with Python object and data structure basics. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next lecture.